A vigil for a young shooting victim included a call to end the gang violence. Good evening, everyone. 11 year old Juan Rodriguez still in critical condition tonight. He and 20 year old Detavian McGee were shot last night. Police believe the shooting was gang related. News 4's Rachel Monjovi was at tonight's vigil for the two victims. Don and Jackie, the community came together tonight, sending their thoughts and prayers to the 11 year old fighting for his life while also sending a message to our youth. Go down the block and clean up the block. Save our children. Save our children. Community members on the Far East side are chanting loud and clear tonight, sending a message to end senseless gun violence. Those individuals keep sending out those horrid, Violent messages yeah, right, to right, our children, right, right. contaminating the way that they think about themselves He's and the way that they think that. about yeah. others. Yeah. We have to collectively begin as one voice, begin to say, that's not right, young man. This comes a day after 11-year-old Juan Rodriguez was struck by gunfire in his forehead, leaving him in critical condition. Juan's teacher says he's a good kid and always respectful. Now he's looked at as a hero for protecting his sisters from gunfire. I want people to know that he's a brave little boy to be a child, and not many of us can say we might can say it, but to actually do it and say, I will fly and jump in front of a bullet, we don't know until that act happened. But we know that Juan did that for his family. Community leaders say it's not just up to law enforcement to stop gun violence, it's also up to the community. A lot of them don't want to die. A lot of them don't even want to shoot. Right, but they're pressed into a circumstances feeling the need to do that. The community has to come together and play a more active role in the putting away of individuals that dare use firearms to take a life of our friends and our fellows and our loved ones. Police suspect the shooting was gang related. Authorities have not caught the shooter at this time. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Buffalo Police. In the studio tonight, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 11.